All right, guys, big announcement for us. Uh, we stopped by Indiana to pick up the bus here, um, but we're heading to No Prep Kings. We will be in Maple Grove Friday That's and right. Saturday. And then the week after New England. Yep. So we're gonna hit every single one we can as follows. So there's a new show that we will be hosting, and it's a small tire show. It's a small car field, but it will be filmed at each MPK that we're attending. All right, so come out there, check out some bad to the bone small tire racing. All right, dude, I got tunes. Yep. I got my air conditioning. Okay. And uh, I'm ready. Maple Grover bust. No, let me off. <laughs> no, let me off. <laughs> See you there. Welcome to the Farm Truck and Asian YouTube channel. Where it is what it isn't. Wrong. Yep, all right guys, so we're starting the No Prep Kings tour. We're That's starting right. to do more events, and with more events uh, comes better transportation. <laughs> uh, golf carts are needed, yep. but uh, they're clumsy. They're big, That's right. they're bulky. That's right. Um, and we need to divide our forces, so. Downsize a little That's bit. That's right. That's and, right. And split it up, multiply. And so we're thinking some pit bikes, right? We thought we were tossing ideas around scooters. Uh, there's a lot of options. But there's not very many options local. And we were thinking, you know, compact. Yeah. We thought, uh, first of all, uh, those little scooters that you ride that are electric. Very light. Right. Yes. And uh, I came across a local motorcycle shop here in Oklahoma City, Colvin Motorcycles. Yes. And it's Bison Superbikes. That's right. So it's two brands right. working together That's right. to develop an Oklahoma electric bicycle brand. Uh, we made a deal with these guys. We're here. We're going to pick them up. Yep. And uh, supposedly, uh, they're awesome. So yeah. let's check it out. <laughs> I heard, I heard yours is slow, so. <laughs> oh. Latex mattresses, that's what I need. Can we get a, my, can we get me Allied foam mattresses. <laughs> All the grip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, dude. Oh. oh. Styling. That's about as SoCal as they come, I think, for Oklahoma. Right. So you own, you own. I own Colvin Motorcycle. Okay, and then you own? Uh, Bison Superbike. Oh, right on. Okay. All right, how you doing? And what's your name? Eric. Colvin. Eric. Jacob. Jacob. All right, cool. Well, Dang, dude, white look at that. You guys, you guys are going to have to debate over a fight or arm wrestle or whatever. Okay. Who gets what collar there, all right? right? I love the green. So have you guys have you guys been selling quite a few of these? Yeah, we've got them all over North America at this point. We've been okay. doing them for a few years. What's interesting is this one's dual wheel drive. Mm -hmm. And it has a power out feature, so you can actually plug this box into it and go 120 AC out, run anything anywhere, chainsaw out in the middle of the woods or oh. guitar or whatever you want. Oh, okay. okay. Plus, it's got a really insane power to weight ratio. Oh, gosh. With the dual okay. wheel drive. And this one is rear wheel drive, but it also has rear pegs, so you can oh, pick up people and do, <laughs> do wheelies if you want. Okay. Yeah, they have keys so the batteries come off. You can take them in and charge them that way. And we can how how do the batteries come in and out to be charged? You pop the key in, you twist it. Grab his dick and twist it! Oh my god! And you just pop it off. Oh wow. Okay. And then when you go back to riding, you just slide it back on, twist the key back to lock it. You want to lock it on. Power on for the, the battery and then power on for the system. Okay, where are the motors? They're in the wheels, so. They're in the hub. Oh gee, it's all wheel drive. All wheel drive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, now this one's got a little infotainment center. Right, it's got a speedometer. So same thing about battery power on. And okay. Then power on here for the system. Okay. And then you get mileage, real like speedometer, and then real time wattage as well. So then you just hit it and go. No chain to break. They're quiet. They are yeah. quiet. You know, a lot of these newer bikes they have a a valet mode or a speed mode sure. is it there's a walking mode on this one so okay. you just press down the, the bottom arrow okay and it should kick on and then it's just going to coast at like ah. a couple miles an hour okay and the same same button to turn it off this one has a lot more uh jewelry on it yeah that's right true. right it's got this dash right this is headlight a, yeah this is a little higher end model we have four or five different models okay um this is kind of like a souped up base model Okay. It doesn't have a speedometer and all that stuff. Oh, this is the hot rod. That is arguably one of the most powerful bikes in its class. You're speaking my language. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he likes blue all of a sudden. <laughs> he likes blue all of a sudden. Love blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You hate blue. <laughs> this is the sleeper no, of them all. No, because you think that 
Oh, you think? The one with all the jewelry. Okay, that's would true. Would be the one. The low rider. You know. But this one, be able to, I'm gonna hurt myself. That one, if it gets traction, we'll climb up a wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. Oh, oh. oh. This one's really cool too because by the brakes, the the motors are isolated. So you squeeze the front brake and the back motor turns. You squeeze the back brake and the front motor. Okay, turns. So, so you I can, can do, do a individual burnout. burnouts. Nice. Oh. Farm figured it out right away. <laughs> yeah, go. Oh, oh, he's going now. You gotta put your in. Why is it? Um, Look at what? Why is it grinding a little bit? It's the motor. That's just the nature of, of the motor. Okay, so that's the difference between an AC and a DC motor, right? Yeah, that's right. There that's, is a okay. difference. AC is a lot smoother. Okay. DC is like a little more archaic. All right, so what else do I need to know about this? So, okay, underneath the seat also in the control box, we put voltmeters. So okay. you can actually see the voltage okay. of the battery. Oh, 578? Yeah, so at 57.8. Oh, okay. That is a 52-volt battery. Okay. And so it goes out to about 58 volts. And then how do we know the charge level? So that's the thing. So this little power meter doesn't tell you much. Okay. Same thing with the bars, they don't tell you much. Understood. Right. Understood. But we have an app, and we'll give you access to it. But okay. essentially, you put in the voltage in the app, and it tells you your remaining mileage. Understood, okay. And it doesn't hurt to, if, if we need to charge these, and we know that the battery's half drawn, it doesn't hurt the battery if it's half. If it's half. No, you can charge it anytime you want. Oh, okay. It doesn't have a memory necessarily. Okay. Like Understood. How long does it take to charge them back up when they when they? So die? the chargers that we have over here, they're two amp hour chargers. So it's gonna take a while. Um, seven hours and six hours, something like that. Okay. And then from how, a dead charge. And how many miles could we? Uh, typically get out of surely them. 35 to 50 depending on how you ride it 35 to 50 uh, miles oh, so if you baby it you're gonna get if you baby you're gonna miles. get way more well it regens too when you coast so it builds power back into the battery when you let off the throttle Damn. so if you go down hills or if you walk it or anything like that it's actually putting power back into the bike oh, wow. all right how fast will it go they'll go they 25 to be street legal okay okay depends on you know they got a little bit more in them Okay. But Say on average 25. Really, you don't want to go faster than that. Okay. Uh, something that small. You want to get a motorcycle. <laughs> who who don't want to go faster than that? <laughs> you always want to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Oh yeah, he got the pegs. The okay. kickstart. Kick it feels like it should be a kickstart. It's crazy how quiet they are. Yeah, it is super quiet, almost too quiet. Good <laughs> <laughs> man. Don't get nice, so when... Here you go. Okay. You learned something? What'd you figure out? This is definitely gonna hurt somebody. Oh, is oh. it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Dude, okay, it's it's pretty fast. It's pretty torquey. Okay. Um, you know, we're gonna need to get the medical insurance updated <laughs> yeah, right. okay. um, the cool thing is is they're compact and we'll be able to throw them in a trailer the back of a pickup truck uh, you know the pegs fold up you throw them in you're right um, this is kind of what we needed right I don't think that these things are you know the fastest thing around yeah but um, I think for us this is probably about right okay <clears throat> the cool thing is Ed look. come on Ed let's go for a ride Ed, <laughs> come on, Ed. You're on the clock. <laughs> oh, he's gonna do Get it. On there, Ed. Ed I'm rides gonna, bikes. Get right, on there. Go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you. Let's go. I'm gonna let you use my let's, pegs. Let's go. There's plenty of room. Peg, <laughs> Ed. Okay. Oh, there we go. He's <laughs> 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 crying. Ed's crying. He's still crying. Ed, your beard hair is tickling my neck. <laughs> 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 it's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's yeah. the closest I've ever been to. <laughs> um, is there is there a horn? Because you know when we go to no prep, sure. 
There's um, a lot of people. Any any standard bicycle assessor will work. On okay, we so just get there's not a horn. We just get yeah, sure. Ding, 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 ding. You gonna yeah. try it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, dude. Okay, now you started this company. Right. right. So you teamed up with Eric, he builds the frames. Right. And between the two of you, here we are. And a few There's other a cool vendors product. in Oklahoma City, yeah. Okay. We have uh, some other people to chip in to kind of put it all together and make the seats and stuff. You know, we're all about, uh, you know, supporting local businesses, uh, especially Oklahoma businesses. Yeah. So this is the perfect fit for us. I also understand that you are building a special project it's kind of an upgrade uh, it is an upgrade can we look at this special pro it's not ready to it's really be viewed yet but would you mind if we all right had a sneak peek we can go look we can pile stuff off of it okay what's up guys how's it going man? oh yeah. i see i see what's going on man how you doing how you doing what's up, bro? What's up, bro? Okay. Oh, a sidecar special. <laughs> wow, dude, this is cool. I like this. Oh. Huh? Maybe, Asian don't like it. <laughs> maybe we just need one. We don't need two. No, we need two. Are you maybe sure? Two, yeah. No, Asian. Yeah. I get it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe I need this one for Susie Lou to ride. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. So, uh, and this is the prototype, obviously. This is the prototype that we're working with, and we're we're making sure it's rigid, making sure right now it's a little overbuilt, but we overbuilt it on purpose so that while we're testing it, we don't have to go back and chase other issues. And okay. so, obviously, in its configuration now, it's a little not very cost effective to make it that way. So, right. so we're working on that now and different designs. So, what we've been asked to do not only is to have a person and some kind of floor but we've also been asked to have a basket to haul stuff. Or your girl might want to go for a ride. You could take her. You might want to take Ed's place. Maybe, yeah, I, I think you'd like that better than Ed, personally. But to each his own, you know? It's cool. Well, hey, you know what? When you get this thing done and you need some uh, R&D, some testing, uh, We'll stop by and ride it around for you. So maybe a lot of uh, the people that watch our YouTube channel or just keep up with us on social media don't know the history that Farm Truck has riding bikes, right? You rode them all over the country. Yep. Uh, in I've, the I've, 90s, right? I've done my fair share of uh, bike riding. So back in the day, it was uh, 1994. Uh, I worked, did a lot of work for House of Blues. I traveled the country. Uh, I worked for nine months in a row no days off and i just then i had two weeks off and i thought you know what i'm out here in california i was living on the east coast at the time i'm just going to go buy a bike and ride at home what better opportunity would i ever have to do that uh, my only fear was i was going to have to do it by myself and you know how things always kind of work out you know you worry about this I worried about breaking down on the road. I went down, bought a bike, and uh, bought the most dependable bike that I thought that I could find. And then I had a couple of buddies say, hey, I want to go, I'll, I'll ride to San Francisco. Hey, I'll ride to Yellowstone with you. And it wasn't very uh, much of the way that I had to go by myself, because I met up with other riders. Uh, anyway, um, so we took off out of LA, we went up, Route 1 all the way to Oregon, went across to the Rocky Mountains, down through Oklahoma, went all the way down to the boot of, uh, of Texas, did the whole Gulf Coast all the way to Key West, and then up the East Coast uh, through the Blue Ridge Parkway um, all the way up to New England. And uh, what a great trip that was. Uh, anyway, I'd love to do more of it, but you know, being a street outlaw doesn't really allow for it. 
uh, maybe someday I'll get a bike and I'll be able to hit the road again and just kind of get lost. That's a crazy trip, bro. Like, that's a life. Anyway, all right. Yeah. Um, well, I say we ride them home. Huh? I say we ride them home. Uh-huh. <laughs> really appreciate the, appreciate the business. Thank Hope you, you have a lot of fun on them. Appreciate yep. you, man. All right, man. Thanks for building cool bikes. Thanks, man. Right. Cool. Nice to meet appreciate you guys. You guys. Ready? I'm gone. <laughs> All right, guys, so I guess we're going to ride these things home. Farm had a good idea. And, uh, hey, if we're riding bicycles, half motorcycles, why not? You know, are we just going to ride them where there's, where there's no... we got to learn how to ride them somehow. Hey, let's go riding around. First crash. Oh. <laughs> Got that? Let's go riding around. He's riding around Asian. Man. Farm truck sure gets around, don't he? <laughs> He's loose. That man's a loose. <laughs> I'm loving this thing, dude. Okay. Takes a little bit to get used to, but for the most part, I think it's the big, the, the wide tires. It makes it like really responsive, right? Yeah. Oh, like you feel the road a lot yeah. more? You feel the road, mm. you know, like a real hog. Now you know? all we have to do is take it across a couple sweet jumps. No, there's no suspension. There's no, <laughs> so these no, are fast isn't. enough for us. Yeah. Um, they probably do 25, 30, 30 miles an hour. They're locally made. They're electric. Um, it, it's one less thing to worry about throwing something in the trailer. Um, I think these will work out perfect for... They're fast enough to take you anywhere you want to go, even places you don't want to go, like the emergency room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go, guys. So be careful when you buy these things. But uh, for us, oh, they'll be the perfect little track vehicle. Yeah. Or the red dog. We don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Farm Truck and Asian here. Thank you for sticking around and watching our YouTube videos. Since you're a viewer and hopefully a subscriber, drop by our website, okcfarmtruck.com, and use discount code FNA YouTube to get 10% off your next order. It's our way of saying thank you. Archie, Archie's flipping out. Where is he? Where's Ed? Where's my daddy? He can't live without you. He loves me.